Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a LR Venom card coming in from that boy Crippen from our Dokkan Discord server. A link to my Discord server is down below in the description for you guys who join today. It's a cool little fun server. Uh, send me custom cards over to VHF Custom Cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way. Um, there's no message inside the email other than where he sent the email from because, of course, Google Docs, how it does for Gmail. It's, you know, they put the little doc inside the email. Blah, blah, blah. You guys already know. So, uh, it's a Venom card. And there's a link to his OST. I'm not even going to play around with that because YouTube's copyright system is very, very, very strict. So, leader skill, extreme class, three key and one 70% across the board, and the additional 30% of the stats is two, corroded body and mind, or revenge. Interesting, I've never seen this type of leader skill before. Maybe I have, but um, it's nothing I could remember off the top of my head, so I'm just going to say I don't remember seeing this. I probably have, but I don't really remember. So, uh, interest animation buff. Uh, so, interest animation, of course, at the start of the character's attacking turn. When there is six or more extreme class allies on the team, or when you have two corroded body and mind category allies on the team. Okay, so you would preferably go with the corroded body and mind characters. Yeah, probably just that that'd be the easier way to get off his interest animation buff. And all super class enemies get their attack and defense debuff by 19%. Cool. So a passive attack debuffer to uh super class enemies. And you get 88% attack when attacking a super class enemy for us to the battle. So you want to face a super class enemy to attack debuff and to get that additional attack buff. But if you're going up against a extreme class enemy, you get 44% attack for us to the battle. And uh, you gain an additional 88% defense after receiving an attack for 8 turns from the start of turn once only. And that coincides with the extreme class enemy buff. So if you're going up against an extreme class enemy, you get 44% attack for the rest of the battle and 88% defense for 8 turns from the start of turn once only. But if you're going up against a super class enemy, you debuff their attack by 19%. Of course, you debuff their defense too by 19%. But of course, debuffing defense is obviously worthless in today's meta. But yeah. Go back on over to the point for what you're doing up against a super class enemy. You're debuffing their attack slash defense for by 19%, which is obviously helpful in specific situations. And you're getting 88% attack. Um, now, granted, uh, they're both useful because the attack debuff on the super class enemies as well as that attack buff would help this guy hit much harder. I'm going to assume, considering the fact that it is Venom, this guy's more than likely going to be hitting hard. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, good on both ends when it comes to the interest animation buff. Looks solid. Looks solid. Uh, stats plus attack debuff for going up against a super class enemy slash uh, attack and defense when going up against a extreme class enemy. I like it. Okay. So uh, let's see what we got here. So passive. Um, let's go and just highlight the entire thing. Uh, eight key and 288% attack and defense at the start of turn. Okay. Monstrous amount of key and attack and defense at the start of turn. You'd love to see it. Effective against all types and all attacks guaranteed to hit once this character has performed a 18 key super attack on an enemy okay and 19 percent attack with each attack performed up to 88 percent and gain an additional 18 percent attack and defense for each debuff this character inflicts on the enemy for starting from the third turn from start of battle that's another thing i don't think i've ever seen wow you guys are really you guys are really galaxy braining it like um, that sounds so crazy. I've never said those words in the same sentence, but you guys have some galaxy brains from the past couple of weeks. I've been reading custom cards because I've been seeing stuff I've never seen on a, a custom card concept before. And this is one of the things I don't think I've ever seen a card getting stronger for debuffing the enemy. Like I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Does Vanilla Dokkan have that? Um, I may be crazy, but I don't recall. Okay. Yeah. No, Vanilla Dokkan does have that actually yes they do but it's it's what better yet now that i'm actually thinking about it yes vanilla dokkan does have that because doesn't uh go frieza for example go frieza don't they get stronger for um attack debuffing defensive debuffing or having them sealed or stunned just debuffing the enemy in general gives them a attack buff if i remember correctly so yeah okay i have seen that before okay i do take that back then because i just didn't give it any thought excuse me guys oh uh, so, so this uh what is this card uh, doing <laughs> let's go back to where i was reading so gains an initial 88 percent attack and defense and foresees enemy super attacks and facing a agl or str type enemy okay and foresees enemy super attacks after performing five or more super attacks in battle okay so you have two 
separate procs of being able to see enemy super attacks. Um, one when you're facing a AGL or STR type character, or when you do five more super attacks, okay? And this card gets a 70% chance to perform a additional super attack after performing 18 key super, okay? And a 30% chance of launching an additional super attack after performing a super attack, and guards when HP is 30% or above, or just 30% or more as it's worded, and gains an additional 88% attack of defense when there's another Corrida body and mind category ally attacking in the same turn. So you absolutely do want to run two, bare minimum, Corrida body and mind characters. One to have on rotation for this guy's interest animation buff, and one to just have floating. Yeah. Or you could just run double uh, Venom on both uh, rotations for him to be able to get that uh, additional attack and defensive buff, because it's obviously going to help him, right? So, uh, his active skill uh, can be activated once this character has performed 8 super attacks in battle. Sounds a bit steep, not gonna lie. And 300% attack, all enemies get their attack and defense debuff by 30% for one turn. And launches a guaranteed super once only. And of course, you have the active skill uh, link for this. I am not playing this uh, to whichever studio made this. Can't say it off the top of my head because I do not exactly know. I'm not gonna take that risk. Respectfully, Crippen. Thank you, my brother, for sending this uh, this link right over here. I'm going to look at this this link when, of course, I'm not on camera because I don't want the copyright strike. But, hey, I'm pretty certain that this is probably what it's going to be. And, you know, that looks cool, by the way. Um, the tongue's a little freaky. A little freaky. Shout out Dashy, by the way. Put, put that put the tongue back in the mouth, man. I mean, you, you're spooking me a little bit, bro. And super attack, the 12 key, 30% attack and defense for three turns. <laughs> and lowers attack and defense by 10%, on, of course, on the enemy. Okay. And 18 key gains 50% attack and defense for three turns and lowers the enemy's attack and defense by 15%. Okay, so you, uh, you have a attack debuff uh, for both your super attack effects for the enemy. And you're gaining an attack and defensive buff um, for multiple turns in both super attack effects. So solid. Good super attack effects. Okay. And Link set is Fear and Faith. Uh, makes a whole lot of sense for Venom. Even though I'm um, not big on uh, hero, villains, um, whatever. I'm, I like to assume just looking at him. Uh, Fear and Faith just looks about right. Big Bad Bosses looks about right. Look at him, bro. Like, come on now. Uh, anyways, uh, Fear and Faith, BBB, Berserker, makes a lot of sense. Brutal Beatdown, Tough as Nails, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. In the categories, Revenge, Transmission Boost, Power Absorption, Crow to Body and Mind, Sworn Enemies, Bond of Friendship, uh, Inhuman Deeds, Exploding Rage, Crossover, and Space Traveling Warrior. So W Guard, uh, I would say... Solid link set. I would say it's all right. It's an all right link set. I do see a lot of it. There is a lot of attack links here, right? Because I'm pretty sure Berserker's an attack link. Brutal Beatdown, pretty certain set of attack links. Tough as Nails is a damage reduction link. I think it's a damage reduction link. Uh, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, I'm pretty certain are attack links too. A lot of attack links. So this card's most possibly going to be hitting hard because, of course, I think these are mostly attack links outside of, of course, I mean, BBB is 25% attack and defense, but still. Um, Good super attack vex. Um, just nice and solid uh active skill very strong huge amount of attack guarantee super and your attack debuff an enemy this card has a lot of attack debuffs you have attack debuffs going from your interest animation uh just buff on over to what's that on over to your active skill to your super attack effect so this card attack debuffs the enemy from their interest animation buff um, well, their passive attack debuff on a super class enemy. So from the interest animation buff to their super attack effects to their active skill, just three separate procs of attack debuff in the enemy. So the enemy, it, granted, they can have their attack lower, it's going to just be wasted. They're not going to be able to do anything to this Venom. Uh, and what this guy's doing is passive. Um, uh, high amount of attack and defensive buff at the start of turn, as well as good amount of key. A fact of against all types. Uh, what's that? Builds up attack for each attack performed. Um, builds up attack and defense is uh, for what's that? From the third term of start of battle is that infinite if this is infinite then this is crazy gains uh, an additional 18 percent attack and defense for each debuff this character inflicts on me no, sorry for that. wow yeah that's infinite wow that's very strong that's very strong considering the fact that this card debuffs from its interest animation buff to its super attack effects to its active skill very strong very strong okay um get stronger from debuff the enemy um has two separate procs to four c enemy super attacks uh what is this card missing um this card only has guard to fall back on yeah 
that's the only thing um and for stats 288 percent defense right over here uh what's that 18 percent defense right over here and this is just infinite from the third turn from start of battle um this is probably what saves this card right over here you're probably not gonna put this card inside slot one absolutely not oh yo imagine this card right next to uh lr janemba oh my oh my god because lr janemba is extreme class crota body and mind oh my god oh we just found this card a disgusting linking partner wow okay yeah so that's gonna be about it um w card yeah um the strongest thing about this card is the fact that triple attack debuffs um multiple additional super attack chances multiple procs of c enemy super attacks uh i'm getting stronger from debuffing the enemy which coincides with the fact that this card has triple attack debuff slash uh, defensive debuffs looking good looking good w card w card now granted um it's gonna take this card a bit to uh build up but once this card gets going with that guard that's gonna fall, have to fall back on it's gonna be looking good so that's gonna be about it yeah um crippin thank you for sending your card um from our dokkan discord server link is down below in the description for you guys to join today send me custom cards over to vhl custom cards at gmail.com so i get to your custom card as soon as possible while i'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way uh i appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best um leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next custom car review as well as unit review. Peace.